everyone my name is divya pungaral i'm from alma media school today we are present at sharna sanskruti utsava at chitradurga we are here to meet a young talent that is none other than nm pratap a young scientist who is well known for his tel- border security in telegraph and cryptograph and drone networking system so let's talk to him hi pratap welcome to our show namaste So how has your journey been through Chitradurga? Um, it's quite good. I'm quite a pleasant to be here. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. So my first question to you is, so what inspired you in drone networking system and how do you get this idea? Uh, if you take India, in India we didn't, doesn't have that much opportunities in aeronautical field and other fields like that. And then from starting when I'm in my village, I have a dream of building something which has to fly. I should build something which has to fly. I put something into that. Uh, all my dream is whether my village looks something better than in that camera or as it look the same as as it before like that. Uh, then I I was like I used to listen to the talks of uh, Sri B J Abdul Kalam, so, uh, who is a huge inspiration for me. Uh, his thoughts, his uh, you know whatever he tells. Uh, those all the things inspired me even today it inspires me i'm still learning everything and uh, uh when i'm in my childhood i always look uh, look into the eagle which is okay. which he used to fly over there and i wanted to make something like that that inspired me you know to build a drone okay that's very nice you've been inspired by apj abdul kalam not only you many youngsters have been inspired by him okay so how is your drone different from others like do, what is a unique feature about it now for example uh, from bengaluru international airport towards the bgs global group of hospitals if you want to supply a kidney or a heart towards the airport normally it will takes one and a half hour to two hours okay and then if you use a drone instead of that if you drone drone a, a air route from bgs global hospital towards the airport or else the jaydeva hospital towards the airport you can use the drone as a air ambulance it is not even done anywhere you can just attach a some kind of kit for example a kidney or anything you can supply it within a fraction of 15 to 16 minutes by using drone okay that's actually very useful nowadays because there's a lot of traffic and moreover it's not it's not kind of safe and this is like it's very useful to many of us okay so how is your drone helpful for agriculture field yeah la Uh, presently we are using drones and we already built them of uh, pesticide spraying especially there is a you know in india everybody wants to know what what are refill refill means refill deal and everything going on what's the special future of the refill means or the french thing the french uh, or the dassault aviation jet aircraft it can able to refuel its other aircraft in the airborne itself like that if you want to spray a pesticide towards areca nut it is very difficult you know the trees and other things will be there by if you use that technology into the drone it can able to using that piping this thing it can able to you know spray the pesticides through the infected areca nut and we can able to do it very easily compared to other drones yeah yeah it's quite helpful to the farmers now so how has your journey been around you've been born in a village in mandya so and you've traveled to japan so far to like to show exhibition to a, to be an exhibition present your inventions so how does that journey been and how was your journey like was it kind of very difficult to you or was it like okay i i was i was able to do it was it like that for you if you love something if you wanted to do something you will definitely love it if you have an interest in it the path with covered with the spines also going to convert into the flowers or <coughs> body you know like like that uh, but uh, in india we need to you know the support the youngsters and other talents like that to come up with some huge idea you know if you compare india between other countries i'm not talking anything about uh, our country i'm just talking about the comparison between those countries there is no not even a single basic invention done from past 50 years maybe at least 50 years if the research institutes convert into as a manufacturing institutes it is the main problem the research institutes stay as a research institute if if it's going to convert as a manufacturing institute it never going to work 
Okay, so what do you feel the difference between the research center, what you have in abroad and in India? So how do you feel the difference about it? Now India is changing now. India is not like that before. Why is India is changing now? Because why, I'm, why I need to tell this? Because we need to give the hope for the youngsters. Those people sitting at the higher positions, you know, you don't, I don't want to talk about them. Okay. Those positions are playing with the youngsters. They are giving some hopes. We are do this. We will ready to fund you. We are ready to do this. But they are not doing anything without the, you know, just they're just doing their talks. That's it. But when we started to question them, they will definitely scare for us. They have something, you know, the youngsters have you know, huge kind of energy and everything we need to showcase them. Yeah. Okay, so what is the advice that you would like to give to the youngsters? <laughs> Don't depend on others, on uh, the work that you are doing. Please believe in you, believe in your talent, believe in your, you know, you know, whatever the thing that you wanted to do. And uh, even at the end, your parents don't believe you. We must keep the belief in ourselves. Okay. That makes us, you know, we can fly with the colors, you know, the yeah. Indian flag, you know, that we Yeah, the tricolor flag. We can fly with our own colors, yeah. Pratap, that was really very inspirational for the youngsters and hopefully many of us follow your words. And finally, one question to you. How do you feel about the environment in Mur Murgamata? Basically, the muds. I don't want to particularly talk about Burgaman, but the muds of across India. Those those the people who recognize me a lot. Okay. Those the people who, you know, they showcased me in some other events and everything. I'm not only talking about the Karnataka muds, all India, all Indian muds. But especially if I wanted to talk about Murgamat, this is the first time I'm in Murgamat and I'm going on the way. I always used to see the medical college, the engine. Oh, how it will be, you know, like that. I, I, I always have some assumptions and imaginations about okay. that. I saw the Swamiji in some other media and then uh, he is very practical. He is very practical and his talks are practical and he inspires the youth spikers to come up with some such a good idea and uh, what Matt is doing is giving the education and everything for the people. More than anything, uh, they have a vision towards to do something towards the society. Is if you compare the economically background Chandradurga, you know, from where to where, from where to where, uh, yeah. you know, uh, uh, before if you compare 100 years back, there is no engineering college, there is no medical college, look at now Chandradurga. Yeah. Of course, I am not telling we come up with a, such a good huge kind of uh, setup here, I am just telling we have something to do with that. Of course, we have plus and minuses, definitely we can achieve better than this. Okay. Thank you so much Pratap, that was quite inspirational to us. Thank you so much for your time. So we had word with Pratap and he shared a lot of his experiences. And this is Divya Pungal reporting from Alma News along with the camera person Meghna.